kudos to all our health workers. Our prayers are constantly with them in all the isolation centers across the length and breadth of our nation. May the good Lord strengthen and protect them all from every professional hazard. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This morning, I would like to bring some ethical corrections to some of the lamentations of certain people within the church over the ban of congregational worship in churches across the land while markets and hospitals are allowed to operate. I'm so glad that not only churches are prevented now from congregating, the mosques also are locked down. The government order to open the markets to operate for a few days is to prevent hunger, especially in the lives of daily earners, because the palliatives by the government cannot go to every citizen in their homes right now. Not only that, those churches with multiple facilities, rather than their leaders criticizing the government, they should collaborate with them. They must be prepared to offer some of their halls to government, of, governmental authorities as isolation centers in support of the efforts of the government. After all, it was to the safe custody of the innkeeper that the Good Samaritan, in the parable of the Good Samaritan, kept the wounded man left for the dead on the road to Jericho. The innkeeper is a pastor, the inn is a church. The wounded man is a sick world, and the two denarius is wages for 2,000 years because a day with the Lord is like a 1,000 years, and a 1,000 years like a day. I recommend that our church halls be made available to governments as isolation centers, and those of us who could afford it should be there to support the government. I'm not suggesting what we're not prepared to do. We have already done that in our church. We have offered two of our facilities to the Lagos State Government, and the private residences we have in our Belkuda, we have offered also to 